Hello, how a pleasant stay. Today's class is Netter Sets Method. Here in this class also we are going to see the problem only with the number of adjustments. I am Dr. Srimati from Dr. Ambedkar Global Law Institute, Tirpati. Let us start the problem with this balance sheet of week limited has on 31st March 2018. So liability side is there, asset side is there. And then here 10,000 6 percent preference shares of rupees 10 each and then uh, 30,000 ordinary shares of rupees 10 each fully paid both are. So we are seeing in this problem the fully paid up shares and debonjo redemption fund is there 7 percent debonjos and then uh, depreciation fund and then instead of reducing from assets it has been given directly and sundry credit as in asset side sundry assets and then uh, Discount on debunges, preliminary expenses, profit and loss account. And here the additional information, the sundry assets were worth rupees 5 lakh 25,000. So no need to calculate uh, with that balance sheet. So directly it has given the value. One year interest is owing on debunges. We have to calculate one year interest. And the dividends on preference shares are arrear in of uh, two years. So, two years arrears of dividends is there for preference shareholders. So, you are required to calculate the value on shares of net assets method. So, there are four chances they have given. For all the chance, we have to prepare the value of shares according to net asset method. First, we have to calculate on net asset particulars. So, assets, sundry assets which has been given in the adjustment itself, that is 5,25,000. And uh, we have to reduce the liabilities, 7% debonjos, and then sundry creditors, which is there. And then we have to calculate interest on debonjos, that is 50,000, 7% age debonjos, no? So it means it is uh, interest rate, 7%. So multiply with 7 divided by 100, so that it, you will get uh, 3,500. So this is the value. And then let us add this. 3,71,500. So based on that net asset, we have to go with the different options. First option, this have priority both as to the payment of capital as well as arrears of dividend. So the value equal to the net asset minus preference capital minus preference dividend, arrears of dividend. This is net asset 3,71,500, preference capital 1 lakh and preference dividend it is 12,000. How it is 12,000? 1 lakh multiplied with 6 percentage. So you will get 6,000 per annum. So it is arrear for 2 years. So multiplied with 2. It is 12,000. Slight uh, the amount uh, alignment is different. Check it. And then assets available to equity shareholder is 2 lakh 59,500. Let us substitute in the formula value of share equal to assets available to equity shareholders divided by number of equity shares. That is number of equity shares only 30,000. So the value is 8 rupees 65 paise. So preference shares have no priority as to capital or arrears of dividend. So formula. So here they don't have preference shares don't have any priority over this capital or arrears of dividend. No. So we have to take uh, both equity as well as preference shares. Net asset has if calculated both the equity and preference shares equity 30,000 preference 10,000 shares the value was 9 rupee 28 paise so this is third option preference shares have priority as to the payment of capital only so net asset minus capital preference capital so the balance is available to equity shareholders so the value of share equal to amount available to equity shareholders divided by number of equity shares substituted then you will get 9 rupee 5 paise. The last option, preference has have priority has to the payment of arrears of dividend. Net asset, preference dividend as if calculated for 2 years. And then the amount available to shareholders. Substitute into the values. Here we have taken both preference as well as equity shares. So the value is 8 rupee 98 paise. So when the problem has given with the different options, you have to calculate like this only. Hope you understood. Until the next, it's bye from Srimati. Thank you.